nasty. Welcome to another episode of Flash Performance where we're working on drum brakes today. And one of the big reasons I got this CRC Smart Washer is to do drum brakes. We've all worked with those guys that you get a set of drum brakes and they take the air hose and they blow all that nastiness all over the shop and then you're breathing it in for the next hour. Or you're like me and you were going through multiple cans of brake clean trying to clean out the drum brakes with all the extra grease and any dirt and grime that was in there. So we're going to use a smart washer today. One of the beautiful things about the smart washer is it's not toxic. So I can use the, the fluids in there and the brush to be able to get all that cleaned out, scrub it down really good, and that can drop in the tank. It'll go through the filter and it won't hurt the Aussie juice in, in the future. So I've had this plugged into the wall so the tank is nice and hot. I moved it over underneath the car and we're going to fire it up and get this thing cleaned up. Another easy task for the CRC Smart Washer. When you're using it for doing brakes or cleaning or anything on a car, you want to make sure that you don't ever get any brake clean in the Aussie juice. You never want to mix them. You don't want to dilute the Aussie juice with water and you never ever ever want to get brake fluid or oils or any other contaminants in there. It's only made for the contaminants you're cleaning off of a, a part like a grease or uh, oil off a cylinder head. So keep that in mind, but easy task for the CRC Smart Washer. Make sure you check it out. Check with your local tool supplier or even your local parts store. I'm Chad from Flash Performance. Catch you next time.